Okay, what's up? We're back. Uh, today is going to be a bit of a different video. I want to kind of do a small little review of Detail R, which by the way, if you're seeing, I'm kind of leaning my head is because this fucking thing leans in as well. My ceiling does. So it kind of sucks a little bit because then I sometimes hit my fucking head pretty hard. But um, I already hit my head twice literally today. That was the second time just doing this shit, you know, looking into the camera to see what I was going to do. But um, I have this twin box right here which by the way like i said bought this over at uh dtlr and uh only bought this online did not buy it in store obviously there's no store near us here in kansas city whatsoever san louis for that matter so i wanted to do a small little review and we're going to talk about reselling here in a little bit but first and foremost i want to see how this turned out after buying from detailer which by the way time frame um i want to say fucking I think I bought them Wednesday, Wednesday or Tuesday night, some shit like that. I believe it was Wednesday night. Um, I'll, I'll either Tuesday night, Wednesday night, some shit like that. And uh, they barely just got to me uh, uh, Friday. So I think today is what, like the uh, the 26th, something like that. I believe like two days ago, so like the 24th, 23rd, some shit like that, I ordered them. And they got to me on the 26th. So not too bad of time, but let's go ahead and open these joints. Yeah, it's gonna kind of give a little bit of a look. Got some new balances in there. New balance right there. And then, well, that's the first time I'm seeing them as well in person. So here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. These are fucking fire. These are badass. And I think slightly fucking worn. Hopefully not. Jesus Christ. No, no, they're not. At least I don't think they are. Does that look, does that look worn to you? No, maybe. It already looks kind of creased. Under, yeah, see, look at that shit. Oh my god. Hopefully they're not already creased. Don't think they are necessarily creased. If you guys can see that, this one actually looks a lot better. I just pushed in even further the paper on there. Now, in person, these look on the camera. They look pretty dark green. Like that's not not dark green necessarily, but they are definitely a shade, uh, darker shade of green on camera compared to uh, what I'm seeing here on in person and shit like that. So it's definitely lighter in person. Let me see. There we go. That looks a lot more better. So I have the uh, other colorway to these that I really wanted as well, which is the burgundy colorway. And I'll go ahead and show those off here in a second. But in terms of everything, in terms of shipping time and price, unfortunately, I ended up buying these a little bit more expensive than what I would have bought them at if I got them on uh, Hibbits, which I believe on Hibbits are like 150 bucks. And I paid 160 bucks on DTLR for these joints. So not necessarily the worst thing, but I kind of regret waiting so long to buy these um, because they were on Hibbits for so long in my size. And all of a sudden I saw them uh, finally sell out in my size on Hibbits. I want to say literally just like last Friday or so. That's whenever I saw completely out on Hibbits. And so I had to go with the dtlr option which wasn't a bad idea after all and i even did some research by the way um to kind of the, the other reason why i'm going to give them a review right is because i also saw that a lot of people do not like the way dtlr does things which i understand you know some people uh you know i've seen reviews where people are saying some of the stitching is off on the shoes some jordans uh i believe though with new balances it's a little bit more safer because I believe DTLR does a lot of collabs with uh, New Balance, so um, so these ones I do believe are a little bit more safe. But I do remember seeing a lot of bad things about Jordans and Nikes being sold, and just overall their quality is just so bad compared to even just Nike selling the shoes through Sneakers app or even on the Nike app, Full Locker, Champs, and all the rest of the uh, retail chains that Nike provides to. But overall experience, not too bad. Uh, bought them, what, two, three days ago. Got to me two, three days later. And uh, couldn't be more happy with the way things turned out. It looks like the shoe is pretty solid, as you guys can see there. Nothing too out of shape with the shoe. Everything looks clean. You know, nothing too bad. Uh, couldn't be more happy with the way this all turned out. Now, before I do take my off of these, let me show you the other ones. Also, I don't know why, but both of the colorways got this for some reason. I don't know why. I don't want to keep it. I don't know why they 
got that. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. And see here another one. I don't know what the fuck. Okay, again, New Balances. And uh, these are both New Balance 9060s, by the way. But here we go. Put the burgundy colorway right there. Check that out. So, these ones I bought quite a bit ago, okay? These have been, I bought them like, I want to say the last week of December. So, I bought these the last week of December. And I also bought them with two other shoes that I will gladly showcase in another video. Because uh, I'm going to be lacing these up very, very soon. So, I want to kind of do a, a like a sit and talk while lacing up some shoes and shit like that. Uh, talking about different things within the sneaker community currently going on. So, look out for that video. But right now, I'm enjoying this moment right here. This one and this one. I mean, these two right here are absolutely fucking gorgeous. I really do love both of these shoes. Um, they turned out amazing. New Balance has been killing it, by the way. In my opinion, New Balance has done a lot better job than any other brand, really. I mean, Jordan Brand has been kind of slacking. Jordan 1s have been over uh, produced and all that stuff. They're no longer that great. I mean, the yellow ochres that just released a couple weeks ago, or ochres, I don't even know how to really say it. Those ones are sitting. They're still sitting. I mean, I discussed in the last video, I mean, they were full on sitting on the sneakers app. I mean, the, they were hardcore sitting. And like I mentioned about these, these sold out on Hibbits, you know, for my size just last week. And I mean, they, they're still selling out and I can't even find them anymore anywhere else besides Detail R. That was my last option. Now, originally, like I I don't, I haven't mentioned this yet. I'm talking crazy. I have never ordered off of Detail R. So this was the first time. And like I said, great experience so far. I mean, things went smoothly, you know, ordered them, couple of days ago whatever and got to me pretty swiftly and uh couldn't be more happy with the experience from dtlr like i said everything turned out okay with the shoe nothing too uh out of shape or anything like that so yeah there's nothing really to complain about with these honestly everything turned out all right couldn't be more happier but uh like i was saying with jordan brand and nike things are sitting dark curry dunks they're sitting Yolo Orcris are still sitting uh, right now on Sneakers app. I mean, it's pretty crazy right now. Times are changing. Now, with New Balance, though, it is the time for New Balance. Now, enough about the review. Let's talk about reselling for a little bit. Now, it's 2024. Reselling is a little bit different right now, okay? Things are a little bit more tame. Right now, there is a lot of noise about to be made in February because we all know that these right here are about to drop. So... We still got quite a bit of time on our hands before they do drop, which is, um, if you haven't realized, Jordan 4 uh, Bread Reimagined, which are going to be in leather and not Nubuck. To me, that's cool and all. I do like leather, right? But this is going to sound crazy. It does not look as appealing as something like uh, Nubuck to me. It just doesn't look right, in my opinion. Uh, will I be copying a pair? More than likely, yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the reimagined, so definitely no double cop for that. But what will be a double cop for me, uh, a fucking mandatory double up, military blue force. Those joints right there are absolutely a mandatory double up. No questions about it. Now, I believe those ones do release in like sometime in May, some shit like that. So uh, hopefully by then reselling is a little bit different, but m the main look for this year in terms of reselling the main shoe for jordan and nikes because i mean nike and jordan are basically the same thing uh but just you know obviously slightly different slightly separated jordan fours are the move today uh in in today's modern uh day of reselling uh looks like this year is going to be all about the four and um as well as the three a little bit because i mean we're hearing noise of what the uh the rio uh j balvin three is releasing this year which are like a much more they're uh, i think in black this time instead and then um we have the amam in air fours which is crazy as well and then uh i mean the hype train from last year the fucking sb fours you know so reselling is a little bit more tame now things are a little bit different you know it's not all the same like it was two three years ago uh back in 2020 when the one was on top of the world you know we had so many ones releasing and now we, we're still getting a lot of ones releasing but they're all fucking sitting i mean the yolo orchids when i seen those head in person in my opinion those should not be sitting they look exactly just like the unc ones except in yellow 
But here's the thing, and I'm gonna put you onto this, okay? Now this is something to kind of keep on the hush hush. Uh, I'm not gonna gatekeep. I'm gonna go ahead and not scribble anything out so you guys can see. Reselling is different, but only if you're really by yourself. Now, if you're consigning, it's a whole different story. And let me show you some screenshots while I talk about it. So reselling right now in terms of consignment, it has been at an all time high. Even with the holidays being over, um, this thing that I just showed you. Now the reason why I'm still keeping it calm because I don't want to keep, keep your guys hopes up or get your hopes up or whatever about it because the way that I'm understanding it and I've actually talked to the creator of it which his name is Isaac. Um, I actually talked to him about it and it, it really is something where it's better to go to your local resale shops and talk to them by about getting them on board with his software that he has, Sneaker Consign. And Sneaker Consign is basically a whole entire software just dedicated mostly to consignment. You know, it's just mainly for that. And I believe they obviously it works for just simply selling. You know, when it, it just owners want to buy shoes and just sell them instead of just simply uh, instead of consigning them. So. Um, it's definitely been a program that has worked a lot better for a, a, a bunch of owners, by the way, which I'll link their uh, Instagram and in the bio, uh, I mean in the description below. But um, Sneaker and Sign has been killing it for the last like what year and a half, maybe now two years. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's been going on for a while and they've been seeing some insane profit returns on everybody's sneakers i mean it's insane now i do know of a store in casey that uses it but the unfortunate part is that um at, at least when i last talked to them i don't know if they're even taking people in anymore um they weren't letting me in some because uh i will say this my inventory wasn't that great to begin with but i also do know is that they had a shit ton of shoes already with them so that probably also doesn't help anybody who's looking to get in which um, I don't know if I already mentioned this or not. You have to have your resale shop on board, your local resale shop on board already with it. And, um, you know, hopefully they'll let you in on the program first things first. And that's something either you do on the website, you know, that's specifically made for that store. So uh, it's a pretty cool little process. I do, uh, I've actually dwelled on it with a store that um, was in Ohio, I believe. Um, the only problem is, is that, um, like I said, my inventory wasn't that great, and I just ended up um, just having to back out from it because my inventory wasn't great. They didn't accept it, which is fine. You know, it wasn't that many shoes to begin with. It was probably a pretty rough start for me, uh, considering that um, I only had so many shoes. I'm pretty sure even if I put them in, I would have been out of luck very, very quickly. I would have been selling them uh, at a decent rate, you know, not super quickly, but... You know, at a, at a decent speed that uh, I probably would have been screwed and, you know, would have had to like scramble to figure out what else to get uh, in the meantime. So, but yeah, reselling in 2024, it's a little bit different now. I mean, all eyes are on the Jordan 4 this year. I mean, things are insanely different except for this consignment stuff. Now, like I said, it's called Sneaker and Sign, the program. If you are a store owner and want to hop onto it, uh, I know this sounds like, you know, free advertising and it basically is, you know. But um, I really would like to work with somebody eventually down the road. Right now, I like I said, if you watch my previous video, I am no, I am in no fucking position to be doing any of that right now, especially after what happened last year. So now the one thing I will also mention, Isaac did make a video where he talked about you know some store owners being so fucking scummy that he ends up kicking them off the uh, the software, which is awesome by the way. They really do have your back on that uh, 24 sentiment. As far as I'm concerned with a lot of the reviews that they give out on their page, a lot of the owners are happy. So, you know, that's something that I, I'm happy to hear. You know, it, it's definitely something to, you know, look forward to whenever, uh, you know, trying to get into business with a store. Um, obviously, some sometimes it slips through the cracks, but I know when Isaac, you know, finally sees the bullshit, I know he kicks them off right after that. So, um like I said, sneaker, uh, sneaker reselling is totally different this year. All eyes are on the Jordan 4. And really the only way to really succeed is to get in with a store that has a program like this, you know, and um, that automatically give you the money, you know, because manually, I mean, that kind of has to do with the issue that we had last year. So just to give you, uh, you know, an idea as to why it's important to fucking go with a store that has a software because 
Last year was just such a shit show. I was not happy whatsoever with the way things turned out. It is what it is, but um, you know, 2024 sneaker reselling, it's definitely different. You know, be aware of what you want to do. Now, do I want to make a video on how to really resell in 2024? Not really, because things are so different and things we have so many things that are just so out of shape right now for us that we just want to go ahead and take a step back, look at our situation and go from there for the moment. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the heat. Uh, I really do love these a lot. I really cannot wait to rock these. I am looking forward to this. I so glad I was able to get both of these because I was worried once this sold out, I just was going to be pissed if I was just stuck with this one. I love it a lot, but I, I love whenever it's released in like packs like this, unofficial packs. You get something dope like this. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And that was my review of Detail R and their shopping. Do I recommend it? So far, yeah. So far. Uh, I haven't had any issues. Uh, hopefully things continue to stay this good. You know, it looks like no quality control issues coming from them. Looks like New Balance kept it consistent with all that stuff. So I recommend it for now. Hopefully Detail R, you keep it up with it. Because it was definitely worth uh, the couple of days. I'm not having the shoe already right off the bat. But anyways, take care. Have a good one. Be safe out there. And uh, hopefully in the next video, we'll be talking about um, my car, actually. I'm very excited about that. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Anyways, have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Peace.